But, of course, no one in America does anything about anything! This is TJ, and what he's saying isn't true. There are many people involved in activism. The problem is the powers that be, and for some reason TJ as well, deny their existence often. Everyone who's not in power is just kind of standing idly by like, well, what you gonna do, you know? Now you might say this is exaggeration for comedic effect, but what you're doing is undermining activism. You're demoralizing activists. Where you really have to place the blame is on me, and you, and everyone else out there who doesn't have any sort of political power. Because we're the ones who basically stand idly by, you know what, I'm just gonna f chill on this couch and watch TV or play on the internet. TJ, you can be cynical without being inaccurate. You never go on to say, well, there are activists and here's links to them. So your video might have a superficial appearance that it's concerned about changing the status quo, but you actually undermine efforts to change the status quo. What you're doing is literally undoing activism. You destroy solidarity and you undermine efforts to change things. There are people, Medea Benjamin went all the way to Pakistan because she's concerned about these innocent children being killed by drones. You could give a link to her website like this and ask people to help publicize her. You could give people a link to my blog where I posted their press release and let more people know that there are activists that are working to try to set things right. We're not all sitting on a couch. TJ, there are plenty of activists working and mainstream media and you deny their existence so often. You could help by spreading word that there are channels like Representative Press who are trying to get the truth out and spread the word about other activism, which then gets denied. Dramatic acts of activism. For example, these Jews aren't sitting in front of a TV. They're out there in the thousands protesting against Israel. But the powers that be want to act like they don't exist. There are people protesting against the drones, like Code Pink. I'm in contact with Code Pink and there'll be a video where Medea Benjamin can explain that these drone attacks are immoral and illegal and they need to end. And she has been interviewed a little bit on TV. I've written books on these issues, including one called Drone Warfare. I go around talking to people around the country uh, and around the world. I went to Pakistan recently meeting with victims. But it seemed as if the president strikes. was changing his tone. And the interviewer in a disparaging way. Uh, he can say we're going to account but, for but all again, the innocent I mean, people again, who have been killed and down that road. Okay. to them. And in a disrespectful way, acting as if she's crazy. And two, you just seemed um, a, a little crazy. You can visit their website if you want to learn about how wrong these drone attacks are. She even has a book I recommend going to Code Pink's website and this website about drones. So TJ, you could tell other people what I just told them. You could tell people about my channel where I talk about many things that are wrong. I didn't go out on the streets of New York holding up a sign and have lit matches thrown towards my face to be told I'm not doing anything. I marched along with tens of thousands of people trying to stop the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war. I handed out thousands of flyers trying to get the word out. But major media often would either suppress our protest or deny they happened by just not reporting on them, or so under-reporting on them that it misrepresented the power that those protests deserved to have. If you just deny that people are trying to work to make things better, that really undermines their efforts.